But the Democrats only care about America last, and they care about ramming through some sort of legislation that nobody really understands what it is because it doesn't serve our country. It serves China. It serves Chinese energy. It serves the CCP, and it doesn't serve America. We should not have a government that mandates our energy and forces us to depend on foreign countries. We should have a federal government and we should have leaders here in Washington that lead America and make America independent and not reliant on the rest of the world. As we're facing a critical supply chain disaster going into the wintertime, as we're facing rising inflation, rising unemployment, no, our economy is not recovering because the Democrats are not doing anything to help it. As we are facing all these things, we should not be facing voting on bills that lead us into disaster, some sort of climate cord that's going to write tickets to everyone for how much carbon you put out and leads us into serving the communist Chinese government. Everyone needs to wake up right now, call your representative, call everyone you can, and vote no to this. And any Republican that votes yes to an infrastructure bill that helps Biden pass his agenda when bumbling Biden doesn't even know what he's doing, then that Republican is a traitor to our party, a traitor to their voters, and a traitor to our donors. They should not vote with Democrats to help Biden achieve anything because Biden is doing everything he can to run America off a cliff. So I'm glad to be joined here with the House Freedom Caucus standing against the infrastructure bill and the insane reconciliation budget that no one hardly knows what the full details are because they can't agree on anything except the Democrats have agreed to play chicken with one another to see how far left that they can go. So at this time I'd like to turn this over to my good colleague Congressman Weber.